Hello guys, it's back to reality for me today. <clears throat> back at work. I do find, as tired as it makes me when I do things on my two days off, if I get two days off in a row, it actually makes me feel like I had a mini holiday, so that's pretty good. I've got work today, tomorrow and the next day, and then I have one day off, then I work five days straight and then have one day off and then go into night shift, so I'm not going to get much rest over the next two weeks, but then I have pretty much four weeks off, so I'm hella keen about that. I cannot wait. It's going to be awesome. Um, my knee still feels a bit average today. It doesn't feel nearly as bad as it did yesterday. Obviously, I didn't run or anything today. What I did was I iced it for about maybe 20 minutes to half an hour. I'm probably on my way home. I'm going to buy some anti-inflammatories. I'm going to go to the gym on the way home. Probably cycle for maybe half an hour to 45 minutes. Um, I should be doing that on any day. I'm not running anyway. Um, and I've really got to start getting strict with it. Didn't go, slept in today, woke up at about 20 to 11, which I needed because the last two days were big days of being in the heat and going to the tennis and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, I don't start at 3 p.m. tomorrow, so I can go to the gym tonight and spend, probably spend two and a half hours there doing my push workout and then going on the uh, exercise bike. I've got to figure out a schedule to re-implement my, um, Rehab exercises along with, I think I need to stretch for even longer every day, maybe half an hour every day. Doing um, lower body stretches. I think I need to even look up some, some videos about hip flexibility because that's my main issue and that's definitely what's causing my knee to be fucked. Because it's tighter than it's ever been as far as I'm aware. There's a reason it keeps getting injured. Um, I gave myself so much time off. I had like six months off running. I haven't tried to get back into it too fast. If anything, the running three days in a row on the weekend was not good, definitely. However, the Cash 5K program is only three days a week. Last week was the first week that I did four days. Um, I can't remember if I did four the week before, but I'm going to aim to get three days this week. So I've already done one. I'm going to try and do two more. And then just do that for this week and next week and see if my pain gets any worse or any more apparent. And then from there, I'll reassess. It's just so frustrating, but I'm grateful for it at the same time because it's going to make me much more diligent when it comes to my stretching and stuff like that. And um, I know how great life's going to be when it's not there anymore and when I can just go on a 10K run with no pain. It's going to be fantastic. Um, yeah, and that's all I have to say. Got to leave for work in about five minutes. I'm riding today because it's going to be. I don't know, I just feel like riding. I generally struggle to find a car park at work on the afternoon shift, so when I ride, I am always guaranteed to get one. So yeah, I'm rambling. Um, I will film more after work. I ended up um, doing an hour's overtime and I didn't go to the gym as a result because I'm lazy. <laughs> no excuse. That's my excuse, but it's. I know it's no excuse. Had a pretty stressful night at work, just really busy. And there's, I've mentioned, there's this one person that started, and I fucking hate her. She just seems like such a shitty person. Just the way she speaks to me, I hate it with a passion. Um, but you know what? She's my coworker. I have to deal with her. It is what it is. I just really, really hope that I don't have to deal with her much over the next couple of months. <sighs> it is what it is. Um, I'm getting paid for my hour of overtime, so. That's good. Our first mortgage payment came out, so that's kind of cool. Um, what else was I going to say? I don't know. Yeah, I'm disappointed I didn't go to the gym. And my knee's still sore today, but it's not that sore. I need to start writing out a schedule for myself. Because when I'm good, I'm good. When I stick to what I want to do and go to the gym six days a week, that's fantastic. But... I really think I need to put pen to paper in order to do it. Like I said, pull my roster up, see when I'm working, allow for stuff like overtime, um, go even if I have overtime, because I could have went tonight, but the fact is I didn't get to eat dinner or work and all that sort of stuff, so I use that as an excuse not to go, but I've got to not do that. Um, I think next week I'll try making a plan to go to the gym five times and to run three times. As I said, I've got to dial back the running and not do four a week because my knee is so sore. Um, 
I'm going to reintroduce my rehab exercises as well. And with any luck, I can get five gym sessions in, three runs, and on two of my gym sessions, I'll cycle when I'm not running. Um, and I just want my activity levels in general to be way higher. So it's definitely achievable. I've just got to give it a crack. Um, I'll be really disappointed in myself if I can't do it because it's been so long since I've had a consistent week at the gym and my muscles are atrophying. I look way less athletic than I did like a month and a half ago and I'm not happy with it. It's just weak and lazy and I'm almost 28 and it's only going to be downhill from here. I'm joking on that point. Um, I can change my life at any time and I'm not going to do it by telling myself to go to the gym and then not going. It's never going to happen. Got to be more dedicated. Thanks for watching. Hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow.